the morning of May 14, 1912, Grigovich was at the Tonopah and Goldfield Rail Depot speaking to a Dr. J.R. Masterson when Andriza Markovich stormed up to the platform, wielding a knife. With a cry of I will get you, you son of a bitch. Markovich stabbed Grigovich twice in the chest and groin, puncturing his lung and femoral artery. Luckily, Dr. Masterson was able to clamp the severed artery with a hemostat from his medical bag, but despite this intervention John Grigovich died of shock later that afternoon. Mikrovich was apprehended soon after the stabbing and a trial date set for the next month. On June 15, 1912, Andriza Murkovich was convicted of premeditated murder and sentenced to death. Andriza or Andrew Murkovich was born on 1879. He was an Austro-Hungarian national of Serb descent. He was the only prisoner ever to be executed by shooting in the state of Nevada. He had been sentenced to death for the premeditated murder of John Grigovich in Tonopah. Nevada. Murkovich felt that he was owed more money from Grigovich's administration of his late cousin's estate and resorted to settling the matter by stabbing Grigovich to death. During his sentencing, Murkovich was informed of a Nevada statute passed the year before which allowed the condemned to choose execution by either hanging or firing squad. This statute had been passed at the behest of the state's Mormon community, whose doctrine of blood atonement held that eternal sins like murder could only be atoned for by spilling the sinner's blood on the ground. Knowing that hangings were often botched, leading either to a slow, agonizing death, Murkovich requested to be executed by firing squad. A 1911 statute was passed by the Nevada legislature that allowed a death row inmate to opt to die by shooting or hanging. That statute was repealed in 1921. Murkovich was insistent on shooting, claiming that hanging often took too long. After the Nevada State Prison Warden, George W. Cowing, was unable to find five men to form a firing squad. A shooting machine was requisitioned and built to carry out the execution. But there was a problem. Execution by firing squad requires at least three executioners, and despite weeks of searching, George W. Cowing, warden of the Nevada State Prison in Carson City, was unable to find three volunteer marksmen willing to shoot Andriza Murkovich. With the set execution date of August 29th fast approaching, Cowing desperately tried to dissuade Murkovich and convince him to accept hanging instead. But Murkovich refused to back down, and Cowing, having run out of options, instead ordered the construction of a mechanical firing squad or shooting machine. Cowing's machine took the form of a 1,000-pound steel frame to which were mounted three Savage Model 1899 lever-action rifles fitted with Maxim suppressors. This frame was encased in metal sheeting to form an execution chamber which prevented witnesses from seeing the executioners and the executioners from seeing the condemned. The rifles were operated by spring mechanisms triggered by the cutting of three strings. Prior to the execution, one rifle was to be loaded with a blank cartridge. Three prison guards, randomly selected by drawing lots, would then simultaneously cut the strings so that, as in a regular execution by firing squad, none of the three would know who fired the fatal shot. By the time the shooting machine was ready Warden Cowing had already resigned, having wanted nothing more to do with the affair. It thus fell to his successor, Denver Dickerson, to preside over the unusual execution. On the morning of May 12, 1913, 
and Dreza Markovic was calm as a doctor pinned a cloth marker over his heart and the prison guards aligned the rifles on the shooting machine. Refusing a blindfold, he thanked Warden Dickerson for his kind treatment before speaking his last words, I die like a soldier. Then, in the presence of twelve witnesses, the guards cut the strings and the two live rounds pierced Murkovich's heart, killing him instantly. At 11.30 a.m. on May 12, 1913, a man was taken from his cell at the Nevada State Prison in Carson City and lead out into the prison yard there. He was strapped into a chair in front of a wall of sandbags and prepared for execution by firing squad. But instead of a group of trained marksmen, the man found himself facing a strange metal contraption to which were bolted three rifles. That man. Andriza Murkovich, was about to become the first, and last, man in American history to be executed by shooting machine. Andriza Murkovich was a 31-year-old silver miner of Montenegrin descent who had emigrated to Nevada from the Austro-Hungarian Empire in 1911. Barely literate and speaking little English, Murkovich was described by his co-workers as being quick-tempered and easily insulted. On February 23, 1911, Andres's cousin Christopher Murkovich was killed in a fire at the Tonopah Belmont Silver Mine. As Christopher did not have a will, the government of Nye County appointed fellow Montenegrin John Grigovich to settle his estate. Following Nevada probate law, Grigovich disbursed the majority of the $2,500 estate to Christopher Murkovich's siblings Maria and Vaso, with only $50 going to Andresa. Andresa, believing he had been cheated out of his fair share, flew into a rage and began making death threats against Grigovich. The threats got so bad that on several occasions Grigovich was forced to eject Andreza from his office, and on November 14, 1911, he successfully petitioned the district judge to be released as executor of Christopher Murkovich's estate. Now left with no further recourse, Murkovich swore vengeance against Grigovich. The shooting of Andriza Murkovich was the first and last execution by firing squad carried out in Nevada, the 1911 statute being repealed in 1921. It was also the only use of Cowing's shooting machine, which remained in storage for 30 years before being donated as part of a wartime scrap metal drive in 1942. The rifles from the machine remained in the prison armory until they were rediscovered in 1977, and are now on display at the Nevada State Museum in Carson City. Today, 27 U.S. states employ capital punishment, with the primary execution method being lethal injection. However, in other states the condemned can choose to be executed via an alternate method by electric chair in Alabama, Florida, Kentucky, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia, by gas chamber in Arizona and California, and, yes, by firing squad in Utah, Mississippi, and Oklahoma. Nevada State Prison had been the state designated facility for hanging since 1903. At the urging of the Mormon population, the Nevada legislature passed a statute in 1910 that became effective in January 1911, which allowed condemned prisoners to choose between execution by shooting or hanging. Thank you for watching Death Row.